Now to set up a socket where we will use this DHT11 module, I will take this DHT11 module and put on a breadboard. Okay, I can plug it into the breadboard. It's very easy to connect to the breadboard. And then we have to take three jumper wires. I can take uh, the first jumper wire. So look at this. Look at this carefully. This first one, we going to connect to the ground. So I will take jumper wire connect and then connect it to the ground pin on Raspberry Pi. I hope you can see in my camera. Okay, I have connected the ground pin then i need to take another jumper wire and it will go to the middle pin on the sensor module so this one is the middle pin data and that will going to connect to the gpio pin 21 make sure it's close to this usb hub okay and then the only pin which is remains to connect is a vcc so we can take the leftmost pin, rightmost pin, sorry, and we're going to connect to the first pin on Raspberry Pi, right? And you can see right now we have the LED light up here on this DHT11 module, and then we will start writing a code. So let's write a program in order to read a temperature and humidity sensor data from DHT11 when it connects to Raspberry Pi. Now what you see here, I'm logged into my Raspberry Pi and I'm on to desktop right now. So if I run ls command, you can see we already have a couple of files there, Python file, text file that we ran in our previous lessons. So uh, I don't want to write every line of code here because this is a quick lesson and I want to show you how it's been done. So uh, I would want you to visit this web page uh, from github.com slash binary updates slash dht11 hyphen raspberry pi you will find this url into the video description on youtube or any other platform and if you browse this url on your browser you will get this web page here and you can see uh, we have a repository here binary updates slash dht11 Raspberry Pi and we have these two files that we have to copy on our Raspberry Pi so what I'm gonna do is I will click on this clone or download button and it will give me this URL so if I click from my mouse okay it will copy the URL okay copy this URL right click and copy and then we have to go back to Raspberry Pi and here we have to extract these repositories from the github website and the way we will going to do this is by typing sudo then we'll type a command git and then we'll say clone because we want to clone this github repository and then I will have to click right click on mouse it will paste the URL I just copy from the github link and I hit enter and this will start cloning or the copying files or extracting the files on Raspberry Pi. Now when I run ls command you can see we have a new fresh new repository dht11 hyphen Raspberry Pi. So if I take you to this newly um, created repository here cd space dht11 hyphen Raspberry Pi and when I show you there are two files in it right one is dht11 underscore example dot pi this is the main application program that we will be using uh, we will get into the code a bit later uh, but for now you just understand first the project structure and then we have dht11 dot pi now this dht11 dot pi is a python module which includes the low level implementation about a one wire protocol because DHT11 sensor supports one wire protocol so we have to implement this on our Raspberry Pi in a Python script and that's it just like a library right it's just like a library or Python module that we will be using in our application program DHT11 underscore example dot pi so let me open this file by typing sudo sudo space nano dht11 underscore example dot pi and you see we have a simple little program okay in the first line of code you can see we have added gpi opens from raspberry pi by adding gpio module then we have imported this dht11 uh, import dht11 this is because we have this dht11 dot pypy file that i just uh, told you in, in in a couple of minutes before like it's a low level implementation a library if that file is not there then this will not make any sense here right so that's why it's very important to add 
to have this both files and then we have added this time module because we want to use a delay function and then we'll say gpio dot set warning just to throw the warning and then we say gpio dot set set mode because we want to tell that we want to use a gpio from a broadcom chip Raspberry Pi uses a Broadcom processor and then we say instance we create a variable called instance and this uh, instance variable is equal to DHT11 this is a module DHT11 smaller DHT11 dot DHT11 and then pin number GPIO21 because that's where our sensor is connected to right if you want me to uh, talk about the code then I will show you a bit later but if you looked into the file this DHT11 dot pi file in the same folder you will see there is a DHT11 class inside this file and that will take a parameter pin number so GPIO21 is the pin from Raspberry Pi we are using uh, in order to um, connect to um, in order to talk to DHT11 sensor from Raspberry Pi and then in the while loop we will say result this is another variable result variable is equal to instance from this instance dot read read is another function that we call from our DHT11 class which comes from DHT11 dot pi Python module and then this result we check if result is valid yes if it's valid if it has a temperature and humidity data then it's valid if it's valid then we want to throw temperature data temperature percent d c for degree centigrade and then result dot temperature so it will call this function by saying result instance uh, of this variable result dot temperature and then humidity humid is equals to result dot humidity and if i save and then in the end i say time dot slip and I pass one second so after every one second it will print a temperature and humidity data so let me save the file control O enter uh, make sure you have uh, pin 21 here because that's where GPIO 21 pin from Raspberry Pi where we have connected DHT11 sensor and then press control X to come out of this file and then just run Python dht11 underscore example because that's the main python module that we want to run as a part of this program so i hit enter and you can see right now we have a temperature and humidity data the temperature is i think plus or minus two degree centigrade accuracy and the humidity is um, basically this is a relative humidity so if you want to see the changes i can take the sensor And you see now the temperature is 27 okay and uh, 17 something I left my sensor back again you just try and work around this sensor and you will see uh, this data um, will be changing over a period of time if you try to uh, make the sensor into a little bit warm environment and try to change the humidity around it and you will see the changes I hope you will find this video educational and entertaining we'll see us into the next lesson thank you very much and bye bye for now